I'll jump right into what happened with the look, describe this exercise. I promised and I hope you didn't think I was going to forget. <laughs> okay, remember that we had given this map and there were dots on the map. And I'm sure all of you cheated. So those who, you <laughs> who had those maps with B, your dot was somewhere right in here, actually, right here. And those with the map A, your dot was right here. Okay, so let's see what happened in practice. In practice, people went crazy. There was a lot of description here about where that place was. I'll fast forward just one bit, lest you think that was all the work that was done. There's the back of the piece of paper. <laughs> That's why it took all afternoon to do an exercise that I had hoped could be done in 20 minutes. Now, there's an interesting point here, and it leads me to a short presentation that I would like still to give, and that is on the georeferencing calculator, which would have avoided all of this. Nevertheless, back to here. This is interesting in a number of ways. In all fairness, what's on this piece of paper is not just the original description. This also contains the attempt to interpret the original description, which in itself produced a lot of literature. I'd like to point out a couple of things. 20,000 kilometers is halfway around the known universe of our Earth. That looks to me like maybe there was a point, but actually that point, because I was there when it happened, got added by the interpreter, who said, there's no way it can be 20,000 kilometers. I think there's probably supposed to be a comma there, especially since there was one here, and there wasn't one there, 425,000 kilometers. Somebody's wrapping string around and around the earth and trying to make it as a gift basket. The point I want to make is that, as the pointed man says, a point in every direction is the same as no point at all. If we try to map truthfully to that particular description, we end up everywhere. So, that was one example, and I didn't mean to embarrass anybody. I don't mention any names. I don't actually know who produced that one. But it was an interesting one to be able to present on. This is a map of the uncleaned results once I had interpreted them into decimal latitude and longitude and put them in a KML file for um, presentation on Google Earth. This constitutes the full range of where the localities were. The actual location where they should have been is here, all within that dot on this map. And there were some variations. And I looked at the data, and I looked at the pieces of paper to try and figure out what had gone wrong in some of these cases. And the truth of the matter is that you actually did very well. These were just a few problems of interpretation and of information on the map that was confusing. So let me move to the cleaned up results. All of them appeared on the map in the correct general area. And in fact, they were all grouped. All of the B's were here, and all of the A's were here. It's actually fairly well done. What I'm not presenting here is the size of the uncertainties. I didn't have time to, to produce that. Um, I do have all of this on Google Earth, however. And if we have a connection, I can look at some of these data. For example, what I'd like to know, first let, let me point something out. The small a here, the small a18, denotes a point, it's this blue marker here, where the actual location was. So most people had some kind of interpretation a little bit up in this direction where the actual was there. What I'd like to do is look at this one, for example. 
It might be that this one has an uncertainty radius big enough to encompass the actual location, and that's what I'm curious to find out. So I'll go look at the data for that one. If Google Earth responds to me. If it doesn't, I'll have to avoid that and tell you what the story is. Yeah, I might not have enough connection to do this. That part looks good. Okay, I'll avoid it. The answer to this story is that this one actually had a 500 meter uncertainty. It was very specific, so the dot was just like this. So something was wrong in the interpretation altogether, or something was wrong with the description altogether. But mostly, they were good. Mostly, they were good. So I have all the details, and if you wanted to know exactly what the results were for yours, I can give that to you, but I won't go into all that in detail. That's about as much as I wanted to present to you on that subject, unless you have questions about it. If not, I can move on. Okay. 